Today we are demonstrating the clock lunge exercise. This is a variation of a lunge. I am going to have you start by doing a normal non-weight bearing lunge in front of you. Next you will do a backwards, backwards lunge, then lateral lunge to both sides. The muscles used in performing a lunge are the four quadricep muscles which are VMO, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedialis, and rectus femoris. Lunges also work your glutes, hamstring, calves, and adductors. When doing this exercise, we have to make sure that you are in neutral spine and have good posture. When doing this exercise, you'll be doing four lunges. A forward lunge, a back lunge, as well as two lateral lunges. While doing all these movements, you should keep your feet parallel and facing forward. While doing the front and back lunge, your knees should not pass your toes. You also need to take an appropriate step that you step that you can get both legs to 90 degrees. As well as your back knee should not hit the ground, but, but rather be a couple inches from it. So like that. When doing a lateral lunge, you step to the side with one leg and act like you're sitting in a chair. You should go down to at least 90 degrees. The clock lunge will have you do a lunge at 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock. This exercise not only builds muscle, but allows you to work on balance and your change of direction. A variation could be adding more lunges in this cycle. So doing lunges at 12, 2, Four, six, eight, ten, and twelve o'clock. An individual could also add weights such as dumbbells or barbells. Lastly, if there is a limitation on the individual from a previous injury, then they might not be capable of performing the entire motion properly then they can complete the exercise in a pain-free motion to their comfort. Our reference talks about the findings and what is better, lateral lunges or forward and backward lunges. Forward lunges placed the greatest demands on the hip extensors, while lateral lunges prompted greater ankle flexion and greater ankle and knee extensor kinetic contributions. This data provided rationale for lunge variation is the best possible answer.